Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A huge event, one of the biggest events we're going to have this year. That is the total solar eclipse happening on April 8th. So Monday, April 8th. The timing of it for most of us will be early to mid-afternoon. Of course, this is going to go over a large area, so the exact timing will differ, but mainly into the early afternoon hours on April 8th. What the heck is a total solar eclipse? Well, an eclipse happens when something gets in between something else. So you have the sun here, the moon is going to be right in between the sun and the earth, and that moon will help create that shadow, cast that shadow over parts of uh, the world, and not for everyone, but we are going to see that shadow. So we're going to have that eclipse, some of us the total eclipse, where it actually gets dark, others the partial eclipse, where it gets a little bit darker, or at least uh, not quite as light. So let me break it down. Here's the United States, Mexico, you get towards Central America. In the Caribbean here, and I'm going to zoom down into the Caribbean in just a second, up toward Canada. Now, where you see this dotted line here, right in here, that's where we're going to have the total eclipse. Again, that's where it gets, when it, get, it gets dark, these locations, it will actually get dark. If you're just outside of that, it will get pretty dark. We're going to lose a lot of light, and then elsewhere, a little bit more of a partial eclipse. Now, let me break it down uh, kind of sector by sector. Let me get into the Caribbean for us. So here's Jamaica. Jamaica, for example, you can see that lighter shading here. We're going to have a partial eclipse, about a 50% eclipse. If you're a little bit closer toward uh, the U.S. South, uh, uh, Southeast U.S., we'll have more in the way of an eclipse. Now, Dominica, we're right on the edge of this. So we're going to get just a touch darker, uh, at least less light in Dominica, but we're only looking at a very partial eclipse. To the south of Dominica, nothing. It's going to be normal, so to speak, as we go through the day on April 8th. But to the north and west, that's where all the partial eclipse closer to the U.S. It will be even greater in which we'll see, again, a less light around as this eclipse passes by. So yeah, not much of one in the Eastern Caribbean, a little bit more. You'll notice the darkness, especially as you get toward the Cayman Islands and Cuba. Not completely dark, but clearly you'll notice the difference in the light value values as we hit the afternoon hours on April 8th. Here's where we have that total eclipse stretching back toward parts of Mexico, right into Texas. And again, if you're closer to this, you'll have less light as we work our way up toward parts of the Midwest, Mid-Atlantic, and New England. We have that total eclipse moving by over toward uh, near the uh, Great Lakes, moving over toward the Great Lakes, and then moving into Canada, right through New Brunswick. Uh, Newfoundland will have that eclipse, a total eclipse. So it is going to be an amazing sight. Now, to see this safely, if you look at it, it could really hurt your eyes. Again, we're dealing with the sun. Even when it's getting blocked out, there's a lot of sunlight that could cause some uh, issues. So again, you need uh, those special glasses or certain devices you can make at home. So again, uh, I'm going to have more on this ahead. And as we get closer to April 8th, I will break down the forecast for you because some of us will have some rain around and we won't actually be able to see it. The weather is going to be a big factor in that. Now, the weather factor, southeast U.S. stretching back into the Gulf of Mexico, there is the front that's pushing in. And this spin here near Bermuda, kind of diving uh, down south of Bermuda now, that spin almost looks looks subtropical in nature. Uh, if they named it a subtropical storm, that wouldn't surprise me at all. I don't think they're going to do that, but they may go back and take a look at that and say, hey, that spin up there that we've been talking about the last few days was a subtropical uh, system. Again, not truly tropical in nature, but there is a healthy spin now just south of Bermuda. Now, a lot of us seeing some of the dry conditions. Some of us yesterday, as expected, we got the welcome rain showers. And boy, did we need some. We really need some in many spots uh, this time of year. Trinidad, we have been so dry and uh, so hot. Uh, spotty showers, northeastern Caribbean. Here's the front working some showers and storms, some severe weather in parts of Florida earlier this uh, morning. Now I'm going to watch this front. This front does get unusually far south for this time of year. It's not going to drop in for all of us. It's not a huge front for us in the Caribbean, but it will bring a few showers to parts of Belize. Not all of us in Belize, but scattered showers, Belize and Honduras. Few showers possible as we get closer to uh, eastern, uh, rather western Cuba and toward the Cayman Islands and the northern Bahamas. And then you see here as we go out in time from uh, tomorrow into Friday, there's the front, a pencil thin line of some spotty showers stretching from Honduras near Jamaica into uh, eastern Cuba, but a lot of this fizzles out 
before it does work its way into uh, Jamaica. Uh, again, only a chance of a passing shower. Here's the big picture. We've got one spin here. Here's that leftover spin that almost looks like a subtropical storm uh, out in the uh, western Atlantic near Bermuda. And here's that front that is going to be moving in. Now, this is later today. Watching out for some thunderstorms southeast U.S. Now, as this pushes toward the Bahamas, again, the showers really diminish. Most of the energy with this system moves up toward New England and the Atlantic region of Canada. So as I was showing you, only a few spotty showers. You see the system kind of winding up as it approaches Canada and another system moving in uh, to the U.S. here as we work our way back toward California. But you can see the front here stretching through Bermuda all the way near Haiti, very close to Jamaica, and then swinging back near Belize and Honduras. Just that very thin line of a couple showers. I wish it was more. We will see a better chance of some rain though. Suriname and Guyana as we get into later this week. And then there's the front just kind of fizzling out. But later this week on Saturday, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, even Jamaica on Saturday, the rain chance will at least bump up a notch just with the tail end of that front around. Now, the top part of this, that's where a lot of the action has been. And you can see here as we get into our Wednesday afternoon, this afternoon, we'll be watching out for this rain, but we get more of a, a surge in this moisture as we go out in time. Again, a lot of the uh, energies here. Look at that rain building through New England, parts of the Mid-Atlantic, and then this, by the way, is tomorrow afternoon. Then on the back side of it, we're going to get some colder air sneaking in. I was showing you this yesterday, so on the back side, we'll actually get some snow that uh, starts to sneak in here. You see as we get into a main, look at that snow, that changeover right there. So this is on Friday. A lot of us start out with at least some rain, but northern and western sections, we're going to see some of that uh, snow creeping in. So this is on Friday. You see kind of on the back side of the system, yanking down some of that colder air back behind it. And then as we work our way into our Saturday forecast, see some of the uh, snow showers possible, some rain showers possible. Prince Edward Island, uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and still some of the rain in Newfoundland on the backside. We may catch a few snow showers uh, Saturday night into uh, Sunday. So Jamaica, again, we're going to watch out for this front, but I believe on Saturday we'll have a slightly better chance of getting a few showers out of the front. Cayman Islands, the next few days, rain chance for us about 20%. Trinidad and Tobago, we are way too dry, way too hot for this time of year. I'm going to monitor very carefully watching the wildfires. Barbados, we could get an isolated shower. Rain chance a little higher in St. Lucia. It's not all day stuff, but a slightly better chance of some scattered showers in the next couple of days. 30% chance today in Grenada and a 30% chance the next couple of days, St. Vincent in the Grenadines. 30% chance in Martinique and looking at about a 30% chance in Dominica. We get to the north, rain chance bumps up just a touch in Guadeloupe. 40% chance of a few afternoon showers today, but many of us just stay dry. Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance at about 20%. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, same thing as we work our way toward Anguilla and St. Bart, so it would be an isolated shower chance. St. Martin, St. Ben, Stacia, rain chance uh, about 20 to 30 percent the next couple days. Pop-up shower in Puerto Rico, but again with that front on Saturday, rain chance will be a little higher. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, rain chance about 20 percent. Mainly dry as we work our way through the Dominican Republic, and mainly dry and on the hot side as we get into Haiti. Rain chance a little higher tomorrow in the Bahamas, 30 percent chance with that front nearby, but as I was showing you, again, a lot of that front energy is up to the north. Turks and Caicos on Friday, the rain chance will be a little higher, 30 to 40% chance. In Cuba, with that front moving by, we'll see a few showers scraping by tomorrow. Belize, the rain chance for us tomorrow at 40% in a 20 to 30% the next couple days. The Yucatan of Mexico, mainly dry in Aruba. Rain chance 10% or less as we get into Curacao and Bonaire, very limited chance of rain. Could see some spotty showers, still the elevated seas and gusty winds around Bermuda. Costa Rica and Panama, 40% chance the next few days. Now, Guyana, as I was mentioning, and Suriname, the rain chance is trending up. So keep me posted in the comments on what you get or don't get over the next couple of days. Northern Venezuela, rain chance 10 to 20%. It has been on the hot side as well. So I'm going to keep an eye on this to total solar eclipse again, April 8th. It's going to be a partial eclipse for a lot of us. Some of us, a total eclipse if you're in that dotted line I showed you at the beginning of the video. But as we get closer to April 8th and we have a better handle on the forecast, I'll be able to give you the forecast uh, for what we may be able to see. Tracking a few showers around today, front in our northern zones, dropping in the next uh, few days and monitoring those drought conditions. So thank you for spending some time with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Your day.